stand on your word. I stand on your promise. Hello and God bless you all today. Pastor Daniel here with today's devotional, which is titled Irrational Fears. And our verse reading is Isaiah chapter 49, verse 15, which reads, Can a woman forget her nursing child and have no compassion on the son of her womb? Even these may forget, but I will not forget you. Amen. Today's devotional reads, It makes no logical sense, but when my parents died within a three-month period, I feared they would forget me. Of course, they were no longer on earth, but that left me with a large uncertainty. I was a young, unmarried adult and wondered how to navigate life without them. Feeling really single and alone, I sought God. One morning, I told him about my irrational fear and the sadness it brought, even though he knew it already. The scripture passage that came from the devotional I read that day was Isaiah 49. Can a mother forget the baby at her breast? Though she may forget, I will not forget you. God reassured his people through Isaiah that he had not forgotten them and later promised to restore them to himself through sending his son Jesus. But the words ministered to my heart too. It's rare for a mother or a father to forget their child. Yet it's possible. But God? No way. I have engraved you on the palms of my hands, he said. God's answer to me could have brought me more fear. But the peace he gave because of his own remembrance of me was exactly what I needed. It was the start of discovering that God is even closer than a parent or anyone else. And he knows the way to help us with everything even our irrational fears. Today's reflection is, what fears do you face? How might you seek God's help to address them? Lord, right now, Father God, we come before you, Lord. And Lord, we lift up our emotions and our fears, and we know that they can be overwhelming and controlling, Father God. Lord, we thank you for being the kind of God that's helping, that helps us no matter what we're going through, Lord. We ask that you continue to see us through our situations, bless us, prosper us in your word, in your presence, in your spirit, Father God. Anoint us, Holy Spirit. And keep us safe, Lord. Continue to use us for your glory and your honor. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. I would like to give you the opportunity today to make Jesus the Lord of your life. We are all sinners and need a Savior. Romans 3.23 says, For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. John 3.16-18 through 18 tells us, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to judge the world, but that the world through him might be saved. He who believes in him is not judged. He who does not believe has been judged already, because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son. You may ask, what must I do to be saved? Jesus is clear in Luke 13, 3, when he says, Unless you repent, you will all likewise perish. Romans 2, 5 tells us, But because of your stubbornness and unrepented heart, you are storing up wrath for yourself in the day of wrath and revelation of the righteous judgment of God. Finally, the Bible tells us in Romans 10, 9-10, that if you confess with your mouth Jesus as Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For with the heart a person believes, resulting in righteousness, and with the mouth he confesses, resulting in salvation. I am going to invite you to say a prayer. The prayer itself does not save you, rather, it is a proclamation of salvation. We see in order to be saved, you must believe that Jesus died for your sins and he was raised from the grave for your righteousness. You must confess him as Lord of your life and repent, which means to turn away from your lifestyle of sin and you will be saved. If you would like to do this now and truly make Jesus the Lord of your life, repeat after me. Jesus, I know I am a sinner who is in need of a savior. I believe you died for my sins and rose from the grave. I am making the decision today to repent and turn away from my sinful lifestyle, and live a life according to your word. Please forgive me for my sins. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. If you have truly chosen to repent, believe, and confess Jesus as Lord of your life, I welcome you into God's kingdom. The Bible says you are a new creation in Jesus Christ. I encourage you to find a good Bible-believing church in your area so you can learn and grow. If you need any help finding a church, I will help you. You can contact me via the email or Instagram account you see on the screen. Thank you for your time and God bless you all today.